So this is the continuation of the formal video that I posted regarding how to defeat the ticket, speeding tickets. And this is one out of those four cases I won a little, little differently. So three cases I won by trial, by written declaration, but on this case, I actually lost uh, from the trial by written declaration. But I won after that, so how? <clears throat> and I'm gonna go over with that. Before we go any further, um, um, let me explain about this case, how it happened. So uh, one day I was driving my Dodge Viper on a, a city street and I was going on the, uh, in the first lane and then there was a Corolla right on the second lane and he was actually going faster and then there was a cop, a motorcycle cop aiming at us, the speed gun at us and I mean I thought it was, uh, he was aiming for the Corolla because you know Corolla is right by him and I was behind the Corolla so how can he aim me? So I, was, I didn't pay any attention but then when we all passed the cop actually followed me and stopped me. I was like what the heck? But he, listen, I didn't tell him anything. I just uh, let him write me a ticket. He wrote, he, he wrote me a, a speeding ticket 60 going on 40 miles on which was unfair. Um, but I didn't say a word. I said, okay, thank you, bye. <clears throat> That's all I did. And he's, he was like, oh, you drive fast car, blah, 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 blah. And then he wrote me a ticket. And I didn't say a word because that's the rule, okay? Rule number one, don't say anything unnecessary. Okay, so that's the case. But funny is that he used a LIDAR detector, L-I-D-A-R. That's a laser gun. Uh, radar detector, they use the the sound wave, but the laser detector, LiDAR detector, I don't know why it's called LiDAR, instead of laser, you know, they could say just laser, but it is called LiDAR detector, which means, which uses the laser to detect the speed. So it's a little funny. But anyways, so he used the LiDAR detector to trap my speed. But funny thing is, <clears throat> so I did, uh, I did uh, some research. So, how police LiDAR guns work. So uh, let me read it for you, okay? The police officer aims the pulsed 4 milli radian laser at the license plate. License plates are coated with a, uh, with a retro reflective coating that reflects the laser pulses back to the LiDAR gun receiver aperture. So uh, what you need is a license plate coated with a retro reflective coating. And then it says, a laser detector used, uses a low-powered beam of laser light that bounces off the targeted vehicle and returns to a receiver in the unit. The unit then electronically calculates the speed of the targeted vehicle. Uh, moreover, it is impossible to be sure it's being accomplished because the officer cannot see the beam. As a result, the laser detector's measurements is highly subject to an error. Uh, the chances of this happening increase with traffic density and the distance between the laser unit and the measured vehicle. If the two cars are traveling at similar speeds, at different speeds, the laser detector will read incorrectly. So, I did a lot of research. <clears throat> so here's the point. Number one, my Viper did not have a front license plate. So there's no reflective surface area that he could aim at me. So that's problem number one. Plus, the car is so round. You know how Vipers look. The front end is very roundish, so there's no flat surface that can reflect any laser beams. Okay. Number two, there was a Corolla uh, right obstructing the view between the cop and me. So between the cop and me, there was a Corolla in between. So how can you measure me, my speed? So it's impossible right there. So what I did, I prepared a three lengthy uh, 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 document, you know, three pages of document providing this uh, information. Plus, I attached all that, all those documents that I found online. So a total 10 pages I sent to them. So three pages of my writing and seven pages of uh, the writings from the, uh, from other site that, you know, explains about how uh, LiDAR works, okay? <clears throat> So I thought I was going to win, but I don't know why, what happened, but I think the officer responded back and the court 
they just simply decided on his favor you know just for the heck because you know you know on their end they're expecting me to kind of give up you know but then what happens then so here's here's a catch so the court grants you one more chance to appeal the case through what's called a trial de novo which means new trial you know from latin de novo uh, is uh from uh, from the new you know i'm from brazil i speak portuguese so you know de novo de novo or uh, in spanish de nuevo you know so you get the meaning you know it's a trial new trial so you need to file this tr220 form it's called tr220 within 20 days from the day you lost the case technical term is starting from the scratch but it's not the case it simply gives you another chance to run your case through another trial which both you and the police officer needs to appear. That's the final day that case will be either dismissed or still guilty. So a few things can happen. Number one, cop you know, does not appear and automatic win dismissal of the case. Number two, you lose the case if they appear and um, something bad happens i mean you're not the attorney so they can talk better than you so you know and they always side for the the cops so you may lose then you don't receive the ticket money back that you paid and then you get an additional fine of about 20 percent on top of what you already paid and you keep the points <clears throat> that's the bad news but from my experiences dealing with four tickets which i won everything every one of them um I think this is a proven method that it actually works to get out of the ticket. Um, once again, I'm not the attorney, so I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not advising any legal um, advice, so don't get back to me on, on this issue, you know, please. This is personal. This is just stating my facts, okay? <clears throat> and in fact, this method, this is the exact way the law firms use in order to dismiss the tickets they use the same method that I'm using I have used right now and even they don't promise you 100% chance to win because there's no such thing there's no 100% win but fact is out of four cases I won every one of them so how do I how did I win um, I appeared at the court but the cop did not show up so I won and got my money refunded and got the dismissal letter and I thought about it, you know, what happened? And, you know, a few scenarios came up. So number one, maybe he moved to a location that he couldn't come, but maybe he was able to write the, uh, you know, respond to the declaration because it's through mail, but he couldn't come, uh, you know, physical issue. <clears throat> number two, he knew that he was going to lose because of all the proofs I provided to the court. So he didn't bother coming out. Number three, uh, maybe something happened that day, he simply couldn't come. So no matter which reason it was, it happened. I won, okay? So by making two extensions, by technically making another extension due to changing uh, to a trial by written declaration, and making the cop respond to the declaration, which is a hassle plus time, and finally going on another extension for the trial de novo. So I'm extending so many times. Actually, this whole thing, you know, took over a year, okay? So you're making every possible moves to diminish their chances of winning, which is, which on contrary, your chances of winning increases. So this is how exactly I won the cases, and that's it. So you might want to listen, you might want to follow, follow what I did, or ask me questions, so please subscribe like and put on the notification bell so i can post more videos okay thank you and good luck